debate. First place go play. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. Humble Greatness in the building. And as always, I got two special guests with me. Let's go. I'm excited about today's topic, so let's go. Let's introduce the lovely lady in the middle. What's good, y'all? I'm Anaya. What's good, y'all? Wichita promo. Yo, Wichita promo 316 and Anaya in the building. So let me tell you how this happened. <laughs> Anaya had a post. Yes, sir. She had a post the other day. Let me. Uh, I'm not even going to say what the post was. I want you to talk about it. Let's talk about the post. Okay, uh, my post. It was specifically just like, uh, anyway, I had seen that Sexy Red had made number one on, I guess, TikTok billboard or some shit. And it just behooved me. I was like, what the fuck? Why? How did we come to this point? So I had to make that post. Like, <laughs> it's, it's great. Yo, there was a ton of comments. And I was like, man, this will be <laughs> perfect to talk about. Um on a podcast. Yeah. I mean, we, we all do music. And I as an artist, um, which saw promo, Mr. EKM, he's an artist and I used to be an artist as well. So man, let's talk about the state of hip hop right now. That's what we really yeah. need to talk about. Um, I don't care who goes first. <laughs> That's all. y'all. I really don't. All. That's I, I, all y'all. I'm going to have, gonna have you go that. first. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. You're in the middle. Okay. Well, what do you, what specifically like just Man, the just whole like, state? Of yeah. It, or just, just the state that the, that the game is in. So you said that sexy red made top. Yeah. And this is the thing though. Like I'm uh, not hating on sexy red. I not know, at all. I know that she is a mom. I'm a mom too. So I get the grind. I get it. But at some point, you got to have morals because them babies is going to grow up and be like, what the fuck, ma? Like, and I get like, I used to be a stripper, all that. I will not deny that shit. Yeah. And but what I want my daughter doing that? No. So that means that I need to set the right example, you know. But they get into the bag, I, though. They <laughs> fuck that bag every bit. All money ain't good money. All money, all ain't, money, good money. ain't good money. That's wisdom. That's yeah. wisdom right there. Uh, the tough part for me, like right now, I and this is just me speaking. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is what's going on but i i feel like i feel like rap is slowly dying and what i mean by that is um the street rap oh yeah and like like your mainstream street rap and your local artist street rap is the same thing yeah the only thing that's different is like the quality of the video the females in the video and like the jewelry in the video so like the budget right yeah that's the only difference but as far as like the styles the beats the content it's the same i don't know i'm gonna have to kind of disagree as well as agree with you because like okay. even in the videos like the, some of the mainstream videos look like they could have just been shot outside on the porch <laughs> you feel me yes they do um so it's like uh, yeah it, it's all the same it's just copycat yeah nobody is authentic or original you know yeah it's 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 in a really odd state so i don't know what the i don't know like street rap as far as like if it has a future Mm -hmm. because right now it's literally all the same like i feel like if somebody mainstream came that did street rap and then i had some local artists open it would just all sound exactly the same right right, right? even a show performance like yeah. you know i used to go to concerts a lot and the show was so damn magical i'm like you feel so good afterwards yeah like, it was yeah. a real like performance yeah. like they're putting it on yeah. now it's like they just <laughs> mumbling on stage walking back and forth it's like okay i yeah. could have did this at home yeah the art of performing for a lot, not for everybody, but for for a lot of rap artists, mm -hmm. it's, it's awful. It really is. It's in a terrible state. Um, and I don't, man, I love music so much. I love hip hop. I really do. But yeah. the state that it's in with all just, everybody just wants to go viral, the whole TikTok, substance, mm -hmm. it's it's really gone downhill, man, really quickly. Right. Um so I, I think another thing um, is the state of streaming, right? So what I mean by that is it's really mind blowing to me <laughs> <laughs> that anybody can wake up. I could literally wake up, roll out of bed, record stuff from my phone because there's apps on your phone that you can record. Mm -hmm. And I can upload it to the same streaming platform that major artists upload their stuff to. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Yeah. In my that's opinion. wild it's to me because they haven't they haven't <laughs> been through what yeah. they've been through. So it needs to be it needs to be you know some. Sections. There's no quality check. There's no. There's yeah. nothing. 
like maybe there's a Spotify and then there's a Spotify premium or like a Spotify advance or like a Spotify major. You know what I mean? For that sure. I have to pay more money in order to be on the same platform as like a Lil Wayne or like a Drake or something that would exactly. make more sense to me. But the fact that you could just slap something together and put it on the same exact platform as a major artist. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, this is going to make me sound old. I promise I'm not old at all. I just got a very old soul. I think that that, what you were saying is why a lot of people like the respect level just in the world as a whole yeah. is down because they think that they could compete where they don't compare. You know what I'm saying? They ain't putting in the work, but yet Ooh. they can pop up a video and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this. No, yeah. you ain't been through what Lil Wayne been through. You ain't been through and, and had to hustle like how Master P them or For anybody sure. has done that. You know You're what right. I'm saying? So, What you think? Yeah. I think it's quiet. weird, man. I'm I'm young. Uh, I grew up on what a lot of people consider to be mumble rap and shit like Lil Wayne was my favorite rapper growing up yeah like, for sure. always and shit like okay and I remember when Lil Wayne got hate being a mumble rapper they said but um <clears throat> I just think it's oversaturated like you said the fact that anybody can put shit out means there's gonna be a lot of trash it's just what it is <laughs> mm -hmm. uh I think yeah. I think rap is in the best state rap has ever been in. I think the best rap music that has ever been made is coming out right now. Okay. But the problem is it's just not getting popular. It's just not the, the wrong shit gets pushed by mainstream labels, mainstream media. Mm. It's I anytime I hear somebody say that like, oh yeah, the nineties was the best era of hip hop. Not nah, the nineties was the best era of popular hip hop. Like Okay. There's still artists like right that. now mm -hmm. okay. that are spitting just as hard as Biggie, Pac, Wu Tang, everybody okay. you name it right now. There's dudes out here like Griselda, like Earl Sweatshirt, Mike. Like I could go all day naming like under, more underground artists. They famous, Correct. but not like yeah. not like the dudes on the radio. You know Correct. what I'm saying? Absolutely. People still rapping just as crazy. It just doesn't get the right push anymore. Mm. What gets popular is bullshit, and it's <laughs> it's understandable. Like I okay. I, I understand yeah. why like a sexy red is popping. I get why you go to the club and like. When I, when I go into the club, I don't want J. Cole to come on. It just doesn't make sense. Correct. Like, I don't want to think when I'm in a club. I understand why that shit's popular. It's just yeah. oversaturated, like I said. I feel like a lot of people ain't being them, and they just see the number behind that, Absolutely. and they roll with it. So, like, one thing with female rappers, um, I said this on my podcast. I think it was episode two with Bea Buki, um, local female rapper. We talked about the state of, like, female rap, and... Man. I don't have a problem at all with like ratchet lyrics. I don't got a problem with you being crazy sexualized if that's you. Like if I believe that that's who you are as a person, I be you. Do your thing. Be nasty. Yeah, Do your shit. Sure. Absolutely. But the thing is, I just don't believe that it's like out of if I find 20 female rappers, 18 of them sound like that. And yep. I just don't believe that it's like this is all y'all. This is who you are all the time. This is yeah. you. That's real. It's I feel like a lot yeah. of it is just bullshit. They just trying to trying to gain that view. And it's kind of goofy to me. It's just oversaturated <sighs> with fakeness. Yeah, man. Um if that's you, cool. Bro, but you I can name some, so many I can, you said some great I can name, yeah, he's on it. He's on it. I won't do it because like you never know. Like one day I could be face to face with them people. But like <laughs> I can name a lot of famous female rappers that I was listening to before they was famous and they was spitting. And now they on and that now like just, now yeah. they on that type yeah. of shit. And it's like you just saw the numbers. You yeah. saw that those numbers was so much easier to get. So you just, it's the easy route. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? No, nah, man, I agree. Uh, you know, two of my favorite female artists. One is Young Devin. Young Devin mm. is hard. If you don't know who Young Devin is. New York, right? Man, she's so yeah. tough. But she's, she, she's, she spits. But also, she doesn't cuss in any of her songs. Mm. So she's super different, right? Yeah. But she be spinning bars. Another one of my favorite artists, Snow the Product. She's, mm. she's yeah, like snow it. is tough she's with snow. it yeah. she's so she's hard but the thing about snow is uh that's her mm -hmm. you know yeah. what i mean like yeah. if you go through any of her podcasts or behind the scenes or her just chilling in her life like she is who she is so i can like respect so i yeah, know yeah. what you're talking about when you're just like bro all of a sudden like everybody just ratchet yeah. everybody out here doing the most yeah and it's just like yes there is a place for that and I can understand why it comes on in the club. Like, I get it. Yeah. But it's like, man, when when we go, you know, when we start looking at what's popping, what's making, what's going viral, what's being promoted. Yeah. And it's always that. It's just right. like. 
I'm gonna be on, honest. Man. So y'all don't be juking in the club. I haven't been to the club in a long time. I really <laughs> haven't. I don't do the club. I, I make money and I go home. Hey, I'm I don't go to the club that much either. So y'all yeah. don't be juking and like trying to grind. So, like that's how you get the ladies. We're just talking about the it, fuck? It, It's. I, I'm gonna tell you this. Hold on. Hold on. Before you go. Yeah. It's different than when we was in the club. Okay. So like, I'm a t- I'm 36. Okay. I was born yeah, in 1987. 30, so, like, yeah. Right. So like. When we went out to the club, mm-hmm. and it was like a whole lot of like T Pain, yeah, that's Chris yeah. Brown, yeah, like we're going on the dance floor, we're dancing, you know what I'm saying? We, it's really different, like nowadays. Wichita's weird too, <laughs> and I don't know if it's I didn't uh, it's when I when I was living in Florida, I was under 21, so I never really went to clubs like that, but um. Unless it was like a eighteen and up, which isn't Correct. the same. Yeah. It's not the same thing. It's not like uh, <laughs> clubs in Florida. I don't imagine it this way. But the music played in Wichita is really fucking weird. It's not like club music. Have oh. you noticed like like when you go to the club? I expect to hear like a T Pain, a Chris Brown. I expect to hear a Megan The Stallion for the girls to twerk. Sure. I expect I, like certain types of music. Yeah. And um, I hear DJs in town and out of town talk about the music that's supposed to fit in with the club vibe but then at the same time i go to the club here and i'm like they're playing meek mill and young dolph it's not club music <laughs> yeah that's that like trap at all music. like you they're, they're just playing like trap, trap shit yeah. in the clubs here it's not like your typical club scene here i feel like it's kind of weird mm. we we play street shit and then yeah. the club yeah and then when the club turns into street shit we're like what happened right <laughs> right like, right you set the mood yeah. for it like wow that's crazy it's kind of weird yeah that we don't really play like dancing y'all. music in the club like that unless it's like spanish the only time yeah. people dancing in the club in wichita is spanish music yo when it comes to spanish they get lit with that club music they know how to party oh, oh man. yeah they, they pull up hey they, and, and everybody's not cool playing. they ain't fighting they yeah it's a good time. it's good it's good a good time, time. so <laughs> it man yeah bro we just in a weird we're just in a weird yeah. state man it's yeah. a weird pocket um it is a super weird pocket but at the same time like it's really it's really about what's being promoted right because yeah. whoever has the whoever's up there and has the reins mm-hmm. and can control what's being promoted right now bro it's just in a state of just being toxic it's just too much yeah that's how i feel yeah. it's, it's just it's, uh, and i understand they making money they doing i get that you know what i mean but it's not like that in any other genre yeah it's not that is real <laughs> very real so it yeah, man. I think that that we have to learn to separate certain segments of hip hop instead of just thinking, oh, okay, since this sounds like black people music, let's just put yeah. all that shit together. You know what I'm saying? And no disrespect to any other, because I get it, you know. But they just, you know how that yeah. shit go, Angel. I do. Straight up. <laughs> so they just group all of it together. And it's like, no, yeah. we not the same, you know. Hip hop is the best genre in the world, and can't nobody tell me different. Because this That's is the right. only genre where you can have dudes like, and I'm gonna shout out local people. You can have a dude like Omen and Lanell, and then at the same yeah. time have a dude like Keontre. This is the same genre. Like yeah, that's but they're totally bro. different. That's so exactly. beautiful. But yeah, I think it's it beautiful. Is. The diversity in rap be, is incredible. Yeah. It needs to be separate in a way too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Because yeah, awards people don't need to make realize sense. there's like there's so many different subgenres to rap. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Even yeah. when sure. you even when you upload your music. Um, I mean, I think they still do that. When I was uploading, I was using CD Baby at the mm-hmm. time because CD Baby was like the only, it was like the only distribution thing like at the time, yeah. right? And, uh, you know, you'd be like, all right, I rap. Okay. Then there's like three different subgenres that you can put your music in. Yeah. Um, right. And so, uh, yeah, I really don't know. As far as like the club music, um, I'm, I mean, I know different DJs do their thing, right? But it's still like, like you said, bro, especially here in, in Wichita, it's a lot of just like yeah, it's trap street music. stuff. Yeah. It's mostly trap sure. music. And I was thinking about that, uh. Because, like I said, I was coming from Florida, and I started going to the clubs here with my homies, and that's what I expected. I was expecting to walk into, like, twerking music and, like, yeah, T-Pain. absolutely. <laughs> but every time I go there, it's, like, it's trap shit. It's all trap shit. Hmm. It's kind of weird. It's not dancing music. You're not supposed to be at the club dancing in Wichita. It's kind of weird. <laughs> that's sad. Cause this is the thing, though. Even, like, you know, when Jeezy was really, really popping... When they played his shit in the club, yeah. oh my god! Yeah, Jeezy oh my god! Been. And his Jeezy's shit, trash album. Shit. <laughs> what was it like? Thug, yeah. it, I wow. might be wrong about this. Thug Motivation One Hundred and One. I Man. think it was what it was. I don't know, but I think that's mm. what it's called, bro. I was in a, I was in Atlanta at that time when that album came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. ridiculous. Boy. Just press play. Don't have to skip no <laughs> song. Not at all. It just let it yeah, play. He, yeah, he was a beast. Yeah. he was a beast with it. Um, 
So it's just one of those things that even now, um, when we go and talk to clubs or when we try to do shows at clubs, mm-hmm. man, a lot of clubs are not, me- they're not messing with hip hop at all. Yeah, that's what I was saying a all. little bit before this. I said it was WPD. It's both WPD and the shows, or like the venues. Neither of them in town are fucking with us. And that's not just him. That's me too. I can say that too now because I've been trying to do that lately. I've been hitting up venues. I've been trying to like figure out a way to book shows. Everybody just goes on my page, sees the dudes I promote, and they're like, nah. Yeah, we're good. And I'm like, bro, I, I'll post everybody. It's literally not. Yeah. That's true. Like, it's crazy. It's really tough. I mean, even, even right now, um, the things that, uh, Eric and I have been talking about like trying to get shows and you know venues are shutting down and um, the thing about me when I throw shows I, I throw a specific show so I want to do 18 18 and up or all ages if I can right and I don't do super late nights I'm, I'm man yeah. I'm trying to go to home and go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> so like I don't I don't want my show going until like 12 1 o'clock none of that you know what I'm saying I, I want to do my little 9 to 11 mm-hmm. um I want a good sound system. I just want everybody to come in, have fun, showcase their art, and dip. That's yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? But, man, you start talking. Like, I'll call a venue, and I'll be like, hey, I'm looking to book a venue. They give me a price. Then they're like, so what do you do? And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not I'm not going right. to do that. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, right. uh, we, uh, we, we, we do hip hop. Mm-hmm. And they'll be like, oh, you know what? We'll get back to you. <laughs> And then it's like, yeah, you're not getting back to me, oh, right? Yeah, um, and the thing about me and my brand uh, that I've built is uh, I've never had any instances. I've never had any. I've been doing this for like 17 years. I've never had like. Documented on YouTube. Yeah, all, every all show. of my shows every are show. documented, every single one. <laughs> I've never had like shootings or like people getting jumped. Or, I've never had that. Yeah. And I've had different people claiming different sets and all of that all in the yeah. same room that's dope but the thing about it is they understand the opportunity and also it's the relationship that the artist has with me mm-hmm. it's respect yeah it's just like you know what somebody might be in here that i don't like but out of respect mm-hmm. i'm gonna act right so i know these dudes can act right you yeah. know what i mean but man it's like as soon as you say hip-hop it's like yeah bro we out we yeah. ain't doing none of that it gets weird really fast like it's crazy. Anywhere. So, I mean, even right now, we don't. I mean, if you were to be like, hey, can I throw a hip hop show right now at this minute? Mm-hmm. I can't even do it. And that's the thing, though. It some Most of the time, it's not even the artist that's causing the bullshit. It's somebody that done walked in the crowd feeling himself. Yeah. Getting crazy. That's, yeah. that's how it be. Then you get a little. Yeah. Get a little tipsy. Yeah. Feeling it was crazy because when I was at Onyx uh, and it was super packed and then dudes started fighting. Yeah. I'm talking to one of the dude's homies like, bro, what's up with your boy? He was like, ah, oh, man, you know, the dude the dude ran into him. I'm like, bro, there's a thousand people here. Exactly. Yeah. What do you mean he ran into him? That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> like, I don't, I, don't, I don't get it, man. We got to do better. Yeah, charge We got to do better, bro. Make them pay more. They pay and, for it. They're going to they do right. And that's it. And that's one of the other reasons. Let me go ahead and address that. Because people are like, oh, man, I want to do your show. Like, like, why should I pay? Because if I don't have you guys pay, you guys won't act right. Yeah, that's, that's the right. bottom line. That and as well as the people that like the people that they are inviting the guests, all of that. Absolutely. Charge them, make them wear a certain dress code. Yeah, that's it. You and know, that's how it, it classy. That's how it was when I came to Wichita in 2005. When you went to the club. Yeah. Or they wanted your pants. I'm not saying they had to be tight. But the pants was kind of tight. Yeah, keep them up. We want to see what you packing. The yeah. women want to see what. Yeah, we man, like it was. I was getting, or you had to pay extra. There was like, it was like no hats. You had to wear a belt. Mm-hmm. You had to have your shirt tucked in. Like these were the rules in Wichita. Damn, tucked mm-hmm. in. Yeah, it was like that. Two thousand five, two thousand six. Yeah, it was. It was rough. Yeah. So like, we going to the club. I'm in college. I'm pulling yeah. up. And they're blasting me at the door like, nah, you can't get in here. And I'm like, why? Well, you need this, 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 and this. And I'm just like, wow. That's how Wichita was. And I don't want it to get back there. But, My shoot. Too. Sometimes man, you got to go back to get it right. Man. We just got to act. We just got to act. We got to do better. It's either that. Like, there's so many perks of going out in Wichita. And y'all might think that I'm crazy for saying that. But listen to me when I say this. When we go out in Wichita, you don't ever have to pay for parking. Okay. Oh yeah. 
Let's just say that if we go to any other major city, Fuck. it's like twenty bucks to park. Bro, Oklahoma I'm just gonna Uber. City. Yeah. I'm just gonna Uber. Oh, you we just went to yeah, when we went sure. to OKC. OKC is not even considered a big city. That shit pissed me off the whole weekend. <laughs> Everywhere we went was like twenty dollars just to park my car <laughs> they, outside. They I was pissed, bro. Everywhere. I didn't even think about that. Everywhere. That's crazy. And then you know you're gonna hit me for another twenty at the door. Mm -hmm. If it's past eleven, you might hit me for the thirty. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's it, it's just how it is, but. People aren't going to pay $50, $60 and mess it up. They're not going to do yeah. that. People, the thing is, anything that's free, any, anytime you look at any situation that's free, like, I don't know if you all heard about what happened in, in the summertime at the little, I don't know, it's like a swim pool in Derby. That a free yeah. day. That one free day, they yeah. fuck it up. You know, Absolutely. Don't let nothing. It's not free. It ain't free. You got Can't do it, man. Yeah, free anything, don't go nowhere either. No, yeah. not at all. Can't do it can't do it uh, and that's the thing i'm not even like a money hungry person i like to let people you know i you know absolutely we all want to have fun and turn up but at the same time you give it to them for free they're not gonna value it they're not gonna they're not gonna do it right and that's for that's 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 anywhere for anything mm -hmm. so yeah when our, i mean i know artists <laughs> are man eric got some stories for for us i already know when it comes to just artists yeah. and paying i want to hear about it because <laughs> it sounds like y'all been in it and i'm yeah Artist is crazy. <laughs> the <laughs> egos here in town be wild, bro. Yeah, that's that's hurt. one thing with the these artists. These like, I don't know. Views don't mean a fucking thing to me, and people don't understand that. They don't. Right. Ninety percent of my DMs are like something to do with views. It'll just be some shit like, "You ain't posted my song yet. You a bitch. It has fifteen thousand views already. You don't fuck with your city. Just like crazy shit." And it's like. Oh. It's got 15,000. Ain't you popping? What you need me for? Yeah, like, it don't even be making sense. Hey, come on now. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> but at the same come time, it's like, yeah, it's for sure. Sure. what does that even mean, bro? You know all these motherfuckers fake their views nowadays. You know this shit's all fake. Man. 90% of that shit <laughs> hey, fake. Hey, he's saying that, I mean. <laughs> Keeping it 100. Well, all that shit fake. You, we, it. mm. It's not real. The thing is this. The thing is this. If your video has 20,000 views and you have a show and there's four people there, what did that even yeah. yeah what does that mean what does that twenty thousand views do it doesn't add nothing up. at all and it a lot of these dudes up. don't even look let me just say if you're paying to get youtube views they're not real views i can't believe motherfuckers still don't know that it's crazy as shit mm -hmm. i still have artists dm me all the time with a song and be like this is the most popping shit in wichita and i'll click on it and it's got forty six thousand views and like 20 <laughs> likes and i'm like you really believe this shit? <laughs> like, if that really has 46,000 views, your song ass, because only 20 people fucked with it. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. You're right. It's, yeah, bro. It, it all, it, it just. The <sighs> egos come from absolutely nothing. And it's really weird. Yeah. And that's what turns me off about just people in general. I mean, I got, I have crazy inboxes where it's just like, man, you know, you you know you need me to come record at your place and that I'm the hottest this. We as wouldn't be in the some, same room. As soon as somebody says yeah. they're the hottest in the city and I need them, I'm I'm out. <laughs> you I'm humble out. them real That's quick. That's the <laughs> ultimate turnoff. <laughs> bro, I'm the hottest in the city, bro. Just right. just just do this for me, this for me. It's like, yo, no, I'm not. Yeah. Nah. You're the yeah. If you're the hottest you're brother, you don't need me. I'm cool. Yeah. I, it's a thousand dollars to get me in the building bro i see you three times a week what are you talking about <laughs> we did, like I, I get that shit so often it's like bro we in a room together all the time yeah. like you're not worth that what are you talking about my heart is for local artists and and i'm the one that's just like i'll tell you mm -hmm. i'll be like i'm probably just not for you that's fine yeah i'm trying to my whole goal and purpose in this business is to give people opportunities because when i was here in wichita and you know, growing up in the in the music business, bro, there was local artists. You couldn't even get into the studio if you were just a regular local artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like bro, where I'm from in Atlanta, you had to be referred by somebody. Right. Yeah. You're not just walking into a studio and be like, "Hey, I want to record." Who are you? Yeah. Oh well, I'm just an artist. I'll pay. They don't. Nah, bro, get out of here. Mm -hmm. That's just how it was, man. And when you was talking about uh. Wichita artists don't want to pay for shit. They don't realize that what seems expensive here in town is nothing. It's nothing. Go to Cali. It's nothing, to bro. Up. Yeah, bro. That's what yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm trying, trying to keep it real with people on my podcast. <laughs> like, y'all don't realize this is how much I spent on this music video. And everybody's like, damn, you spent that? And I'm like, bro, talk to Tajay. You remember that dude Tajay we interviewed from Texas? Yeah. He, he said he like, spends seven bands on average for a video. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it. For though. one song, but that's what it costs when you live in a big city. Yeah. And, and, and the way he said it, right. it, 
Yeah. It was just like, it was, yeah, whatever. he said it. Yeah, he, he was like, like, yeah, man, like 7,000. I was like, oh, f- I was like, he said it real? like dude was He's cutting like, him yeah. a deal. Yeah. He was like, yeah, he only hits me like 7K. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Like, what the? <laughs> that's a car, bro. What the fuck? 7K. <laughs> that's what, that's, and that's the thing. It's, it's, it's a real culture shock, man. The thing about it is, no matter how talented you are, if you don't pay the price for stuff, you're going to start falling behind people who are paying the price who are less talented. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just what it is, right? So, and man. that's the thing, though. They don't even really have to pay the price nowadays. Like streaming, like you said, with streaming and all of that other stuff, all they have to do is just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's probably why they do what they do because they don't have the money. It's to, just hip hop's just know. too easy to get into. Yeah. These dudes don't want to pay. Bro. These dudes don't want to pay six hundred dollars for their music video, but they got on ch- diamond chains in the video too. Yeah. That should be blowing my mind. I ain't got a single chain. I don't got no expensive watches, but I got more music videos than yo ass. <laughs> I got more songs than yo ass. I promise you, I do. Yeah, you right. It's crazy. They, the focus is just wrong. It, and, and, and and that's really what it is. It's the focus is wrong. Uh, a lot of y'all's homies are not your homies. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. You come into the studio, you bring seven eight nine ten people in the studio and then when you perform none of them know your lyrics at all it's people got to really focus on building building a team of people who really believe in them Mm -hmm. not just the yes man homie that's like oh bro that's hard and then he's in the crowd bro and i'm looking at him he don't know none of your songs yeah i even offer him a mic hey oh that's your homie does he need a mic ah nah man he's cool yeah because he doesn't know your song that's why yeah that's wild to me that is sad. I don't. <laughs> that's tragic. Yeah, man. I go live on. Uh, I go live on Instagram like two, three times a week and just sit there for an hour and just sing local music to people. I just sit there and put on shit and that's I just awesome. sit there and rap along with it because I'm just trying to show these motherfuckers like I'm the only dude in town who can probably do this and yeah. it irritates me. Yeah. Like, but there, see, there's 500 rappers here in town, <laughs> and that's what I didn't know. I didn't know that there was that many. It, yeah, there's like, so many artists here. here. It's so. crazy. Yeah, where you originally crazy. from? oklahoma yeah yeah from the, oh <laughs> oklahoma scene yes, is so dope and it, yeah. it it really makes me upset let me tell you it makes me upset that i can drive two and a half hours mm. south and the music scene <laughs> is destroying ours it's crushing yeah. ours oh, they're, they're yeah, on beast mode but yeah like, two and a half hours though that's right down the street and then if I drive another what three hours to go to Dallas, oh yeah, it's even more popping than that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's the thing. Every like when you're in your city, everything else looks popping too. Because like it is a few people yeah. from here that I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, they're pretty dope. You know? Yeah, we got some oh, dope yeah, artists yeah. here, yeah. man. Yeah, for we sure. We do. We got some dope, dope artists. Um, but it's, I mean, the good. First of all, let me backtrack. I love Wichita. <laughs> this isn't just, you know, hate on. It, it, it's none of that. It's just some things that are just irritating. You know what I mean? Um, some things that we just need to get better at. Um, and it, it's mainly just support, man. Like I've said before on podcast, I go click on a rapper from New York and there's 50 dudes in the video and they're all supporting and they all rap. You click on the recommended video right next to it, it'll be the homie that was hyping them up. You click on the next recommended video, it was somebody, you know, they all like, they all just support each other. They work yeah. the Here it's just like, oh yeah, he raps, bro. I, I, I don't rock with him. And I'm like, yeah. bro, what are you talking about? You guys are literally trying to achieve the same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is what I've experienced a lot here. I That's will say it's very different because I am, like I said, I'm not from here. But in Oklahoma, like they kind of do work together. A lot of people reach out like, hey, let's work, sis, this, that, and the third. Here it's the same in a way, but then they, I don't know, it's it's just kind of weird. Like the the females for sure, like, oh, God. I don't even, oh, man. Deal, with them. <laughs> I don't even want to deal with them. Yeah. Like, I think we won't name any names, but yeah. Yeah. I wish we had more female artists. You know, man, yeah. I love female artists. I do. I think that they are the way for sure. But it's just like the content right now is where the female rap is at and what is popular is not it. It's just not. I understand it could be ratchet if you want to be like some days, maybe with your girls or something, but at all times, every song no yeah and that, that's all that that's all they have to say is talk about their vagina or talk about their ass on a song or sucking dick and they it, it goes <laughs> that's all they have to do we lacking on wichita female rappers bad like yeah. we got we got 
five to ten dope I will female say rappers hot sauce. that I know of here in town. Hot sauce, hot sauce is dope as fuck. Yeah. I like her. She we is. got like five to ten that I can name here in town that I think are like real dope and they making move like making cool moves and shit. But like like I said, when there's five hundred Wichita rappers <laughs> and what, five to ten are female, that's yeah. such a bad ratio. Yeah. It's so behind. I remember I tried to do a um I tried to do a male versus female um, like I rap battle that. song for song. Oh, nice. I tried to do that last year. I wanted to do it for Halloween. Mm -hmm, that would have been Yeah. I had all these dudes. I had a couple of females and the females were like super intimidated. Yeah. yeah. They're like, ah, oh, well, I don't really know like who else is going to be on my team. And I was like, I was going to stack the girls team anyway. Like that was the plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, it, it did not work out at all how I had it. I mean, I still did an event that night, but it wasn't the original idea. Um, but, I mean, in order for females, I feel like in order for um, the music to just come together, but they just got to work together. Yeah, yeah I'm That's trying, true. man. I'm trying with that cypher. I know, it's man. You are. You are. It's going to happen. I remember uh, TT was doing cyphers. TT was one of the first artists to come to me, TT the rapper, and be like, hey, I want to cypher this, cypher that. And I know we have some cypher videos out, right? Um, but she was, man, she was the one that pushed me the hardest when it came to it. Yeah. And I told her, too, I said, the cypher is going to be one of the hardest things you've ever done. It is. Because it's, it's so hard. You would think, you would think that I'm going to get a beat right i'm gonna get multiple people on it you would think that people would be like oh yeah that's a great idea let's do it yeah it's crazy i'll say but i'll say the details because i don't care i just won't say names i've been sitting on i got a beat for this first wichita promo cypher two months ago mm -hmm. something like that i got it two months ago my idea was all right i'm gonna have four verses on here from four different wichita rappers maybe five i just don't want it to get too long um 16 bars each everybody's equal I don't want anybody to get anything extra. So I was like, super easy. Got the beat, it's four minutes or whatever, split it up evenly. All I gotta do is send it out to each dudes, get the 16 bars back, put it out. That's it, easy. I've got one easy. verse in two months. Are you serious? I've got one See, and verse. And that's the thing, it's yeah. popcorn culture right now. It takes now. so can, fucking long. It's just a 16. It's insane. And these dudes have, all, all the dudes I've hit up have dropped like nine songs since I hit them up. It's like, <laughs> oh. so you writing, you just being a bitch. Okay. You just yeah. feel like you too big for the cypher, which is goofy because you can you can look at it like I'm throwing it together so you think you're doing it for my fan base. First of all, I'm not. I'm not even on the shit. It's Wichita promo, which is bigger than you. I'm sorry, but it is. <laughs> yeah. Like all these no, all these promo it. like it's bigger than me. That's not even no ego shit. I don't post right. myself on there. I post everybody else. Yeah. So it's big because I gained everybody else's shit off of it. I don't profit off of it. So it's not no Correct. ego, nothing like that. More views are gonna come from that because it's Wichita promo yeah. than it would if it was me. So they trying to like compare themselves to me as an artist, and I think they get like a weird ego about it, and then they don't get on it. And I'm like, what you don't understand is this cipher is gonna be on a Wichita promo page. And there's five artists on it. All y'all share it. This is bound to do so well. Like it's absolutely the numbers are insane. Well. You got five fan bases tapping in plus me. Yeah. Like it just doesn't make any sense to not hop on it. It's it's insane to me. But like I said, in two months, I've got one verse back. Wow. And you're not even originally from Wichita, right? And you're going. I this am. I am. But I uh, okay. I'm from Wichita, and I moved to Florida for a little while, and okay. then I came back here because okay, I was expensive. like, damn, you got a lot of passion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it's dope. just I. I, I don't know when I moved back here like I was making music in Florida but I didn't take it serious mm -hmm. and when I came back here I had zero hope for the music shit if I'm being honest like when I first moved back here because yeah. I didn't know if I knew of maybe like five Wichita artists I didn't know shit about the music scene and in my head I was like there is none there's no music scene yeah. here I was like you can't be a rapper out of Wichita nobody's ever done it and then when I met him <laughs> it started funneling and it like oh shit there's like 300 dudes that record in here Absolutely. and then I found out about this other studio and then this other studio and I was like Oh, there's all this shit in town that I had no idea about, bro. Like, I did not know. Like, once I started realizing there's hundreds of artists, I was yeah. like, somebody's got to push this. Dang. It's dumb that there's this many people and no one, everyone thinks this is a farm. Like, if you talk about Kansas, <laughs> everyone just They're thinks like, we live, live on a Kansas fucking City? farm. No, bro, Wichita. Oh. Yeah. Anytime I was in Florida, there? they just like, y'all Y'all like fields and farms and shit. I was like, <laughs> No, bro. Like this is like a legit city. There's everything here. Yeah, we was just at. Sure. Bro, that Shocker Studio stunned me. Just walking through there and shout seeing out like Shocker Studio. Shout, shout out to Justin over at Shocker yeah. Studios. Just yeah, seeing the layout of like, there's 
25 classrooms plus something like that and we're walking through and it's like this is literally there's a classroom for every lane of entertainment i can think of yeah it's insane the fact that that's all here in town was blowing my mind walking through there just walking through like man they make music right here movies right here sculptures right here like video games right i did not know that was all right here in the city especially in one building yep that's all right here (laughs) people don't know it's we crazy. have we have so much great stuff here and what people need really need to quit saying or doing is they really need to quit saying like there's nothing here because there's yeah. so much stuff here. You just have to get out and just I think get it done. I think the city gets better at supporting each other and artists get better at like pulling up to each other's stuff once someone makes it. The thing is we've never had like a big celebrity. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like New York, California, Atlanta, Texas, they all have like solidified famous rappers that like put they stayed on. We've had people that have had like some success. Yeah. But we've never had like a huge name come out of Wichita that really put us on a map. And I feel like if one person made that, it would give everybody else some hope and maybe they'd take shit a little more serious. But nobody's seen anything ever get made out of this city. So no one Man, no one bro, believes there's it. So much that be happening in the city. For sure. But I'm saying like it's like the Adrian Harding, that's more like they look at him as a YouTuber. Yeah. They've got like all the people that have we made got some it. Athletes, athletes out of here too. Athletes. <laughs> but I'm saying like we've never had a rapper. We've Dax. never had just a straight up like rapper so that's isn't got Isn't Dax from Wichita? Nah. So Dax is Canadian you? and claims Wichita. So okay, hold on, hold okay. on, hold on. Yeah. Let me let me speak a little bit on Dax. Okay, um, let me and educate me. Please. So what then this is just what I know about him. Um I have met Dax through a um, through Polly's Productions, which mm-hmm. is a studio here in town. Shout out to Paul. Um, and the engineer at the time who was working there was Horace Kennedy. Shout out to Horace Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember seeing that Dax uh, was at Polly's Productions. So I messaged Horace Kennedy. He was like, hey, man, I want to meet this dude, right? Mm-hmm. So I remember going there. Boom, I meet Dax. Dax needs a ride back to Newman because he was playing basketball over at Newman, right? He needed a ride back. Um, so, you know, shoot. Of course, bro, I'm going to take you, right? Yeah. So, boom, take him back to Newman. And um, I remember walking on the basketball court outside and just kind of just talking to him, right? We're just having a conversation. And Dax looked me straight in the face and was like, yo, I'm going to blow up. Yeah. Like, I know a lot of people tell you that, but he was like, I got a whole game plan and I got this and this and I got everything. He's like, I'm going to be one of the biggest rappers. That's right. And I was like, all right, bet. And he was like, <laughs> He was like, yeah, I'm going to make that happen. And so uh, Dad Swift, he has Dad, he has uh, Swift Productions. He's he's amazing at shooting music videos. Him, uh, Dax, and another friend of mine, Jacob Clark, um, who's one of the best uh, photographers in the city for sure, they all went out there to L.A. And then, okay. you know, they were shooting videos and doing all this. And Dax started getting his name bigger and bigger and bigger. And, you know, I mean, you see the numbers now. The numbers are ridiculous. He's on tour right now, right? Oh, yeah. But um, Dax told me straight to his face. He's like, yo, I have a game plan. I have a team. I have, like, those are the terms he was using. Mm-hmm. So I was like, bro, the way you're talking, you probably are going to blow up. I don't see... I, I'm not here to doubt anybody, but you're using verbiage that makes sense. It's not, hey, I'm going to just run out here by myself and I'm going to blow up. That's not going to happen. You need a team. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of reasons why rappers don't have teams is because a lot of a lot of these rappers, bro, they're not even liked. Yeah. People don't even want to be around you. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that, you know you pull in or you talk about or gravitates towards you that's that's why they're not successful because they're not even putting out a a roar of of greatness at all or even for people to even like you right the reason why i'm successful i mean there's a lot of things but people like being around me let's just keep it a thousand they do they like being around me they like my energy um i do what i say i'm gonna do right it's not about really how talented i am like i'm good at what i do but people People like the vision and they like to be around me. So they're willing to help me with my vision. Mm -hmm. Just being a good person. (laughs) That's That's just what it is, right? And I've told so many artists, like, uh, your personality and people liking you, that's going to take you further. I'm telling you, it's going to take you further than your ability to do music. Mm -hmm. When you're really at the top and you're sitting in those rooms, everybody's talented. That's right. So it's not about that. Like I've been in rooms where people are sitting around and they're showing their demos and everybody's amazing. Like everybody's dope. 
And then the conversation is like, okay, so how is that? Who, who is that person? Like as a person, do we do we like him? Can can we take him on tour for three months and not throw him off the bus because we hate being around him? <laughs> like for real? Yeah. Can we stay with this person for three or four months on the road? What does their family look like? Is this? Are we going to put this person on stage and the cops come and arrest them because they got all these felonies? Like, what are we doing? That is true. And there's so many, bro. I've seen it. I've seen names get marked off the list. Can't we? We can't do it. They're in too much trouble, or man, they got a bad situation. Or and it's all talent. It's just a lot of y'all rappers need to get y'all's legal stuff straight. <laughs> I can't even take I can't even take half of y'all out of town because y'all's on papers, y'all's on six o'clock curfews. Like, I can't even do nothing with y'all. So when that conversation does come, hey, who do we choose? A lot of y'all I can't even mention. Yeah. That is that is sad. But that's the thing though. Like, if you it looks popular to have that type of rap sheet too, though. You know what I mean? And really be about that. Because we're really in that culture. If you're gonna sing about that shit, you better be about that shit. Yeah, somebody gonna so, try you eventually. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. They're gonna pull your card. Yeah. So it's it's kinda yeah. It's so it's it's different. I love Wichita. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all rappers. I really do, man. There's just stuff like I keep saying, bro, that we just gotta clean up, man. And the people, I'm gonna tell you this, the people who are really pushing the culture. Man, y'all need to treat them better. Because I've read these inboxes. I've read his inboxes. Y'all be talking crazy to this dude. And he's trying to promote y'all. He's he's not trying to do anything but help you guys. And y'all be, ah, oh, man, you don't post my music. F you, F this. And I be like, bro, this is crazy. What do you... Right. What are y'all talking I about? They ask real quick. I don't even... I wouldn't even reply. It's all this social media shit, though, too. Because at the same time, like... You know, uh, you you said it to me like rappers be saying it to me. I, I'm really outside like every day, and I ain't talking <laughs> on no street shit. I'm like, I, I'm not hard to find. Bro. I'm not hard to find. I'm at shows. I'm yeah. everywhere, bro. <laughs> if you really don't fuck with me, like you'll find me. I'm outside everywhere. You For can sure. see me. Yeah, it's never like that. It's never. I don't ever hear anybody say some shit in person. It's always just some weird DMs. It's always like that. Anytime man. in person, it's always the opposite. So yeah. it is what it is. It's I just like ignore that for me it too. Yeah, wow. it's weird. They be talking crazy, and then they'll see me. Oh, bro. Yeah. Really? <laughs> All the time. It's wow. super weird. I'm 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 36 years old. I ain't finna fight. Yeah, yeah. me neither. Got kids. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, if I have to fight you, I'm just gonna shoot you. I'm, you better have life insurance. <laughs> I'm I'm cool. You know, like I I'm too I, I mean, I, I've said this before to uh to Eric. I was like, bro, if you ever hear something bad about me, it's their fault. Yeah. I'm too easy to get along with. And if you have a problem, let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. That's real. That's it. <laughs> yeah. And it's Wichita too, so I mean, if we got issues, we're gonna run into each other. Yeah, this city's so small. Might, you might as well just talk about it now. We might as well just <laughs> the city real have small. Have the conversation. <laughs> There's no like, oh my gosh, is so and so gonna be here? Yeah, the rap scene's pretty yeah. small here. <laughs> so yeah, we all see each other. We're gonna see each other eventually. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, we just gotta do better, man. That's it, and we can. And it's going to come back to where we're doing shows and stuff like that. But right now, man, it's it's tough, man. Clubs really don't want to mess with, with, with the hip-hop industry at all, especially when it comes to locals, man. They, you ever they, seen Street Beefs? They don't want to do it. On uh, YouTube? Absolutely. We got to start up with these local gyms, get these rappers throwing hands. Man, that'd be dope. <laughs> I'll pay to see yeah, some y'all talking fight, all man. that shit. Let's go to one of these <laughs> local gyms and throw some gloves on. That'll be amazing. Let them handle that shit like we that. We go viral. Yeah, that's we go viral for sure. It, it ends right there. Just <laughs> shut the fuck up after you got knocked out on camera. I bet you'll shut the fuck up. That's real. <laughs> ah, that's the problem though. It. Like they can't take an ass whooping nowadays. They're gonna yeah. come back with bullets. It's that's, crazy. That's how it is. It's crazy. It's, it's wild, man. Um, so I mean, we'll see what happens in the future with with hip hop, man. Because right now it's 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 it's, it's in a rough space. It's gonna it's work in a out. Rough space. It's going to work out. It will. It will. I just want to bring some more positivity to the genre because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, these are my people, right? Mm-hmm. So um, I just want to see it be more positive, man, because all this ratchet negativity stuff, it's, it's really, it's just brain numbing. It is. <laughs> I don't even listen to it. You'll, you'll catch me listen to it. Like, I will listen to Frank Sinatra before I listen to it. I'll yeah, be honest. Man. I listen it's, to a lot of old school rap, yeah. man, so... That's just me. I mean, I love the new stuff I do, but it's just 
man, when I click on a new female rapper, bro, like anybody I click on in that recommended, it's yeah. just all like the same stuff. It's, it's sad. Just, yeah. and I feel like you got to really love music. You got to like really dig to find the good shit. It's still mm. all that good shit. Like I said, there's still. The, yeah, there's still the out there. Best, it just doesn't get I promoted. still think the best lyricists that have ever lived are right now. It's just like, yeah. they just hidden. You just don't, you don't, <laughs> they never going to be on the radio. You don't, yeah. they just don't get that push. The shit that gets the push is man <laughs> that ratchet activity bro i mean that's that is what it is so that's what sells though they say sex sells so. it does and it always will but it doesn't always have to be that right. i think it's yeah. a different type of sex appeal that they could use like because yeah. i'm gonna be honest i listened to trina that was that's my girl yeah, I fucked with trina when yeah but there was out. a time when you could be like, like rihanna and like just sing like a like a song right. that's not so like raunchy and it mm -hmm. was still like she was considered the, the sex sexiest appeal. girl you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. Yeah. and i don't yeah. ever remember a time growing up it, now she probably got some wild lyrics i ain't gonna lie <laughs> she she done got crazy a little bit but like i remember a time like it, like beyonce rihanna they was considered like the sexiest girls and it was never like that it was Correct. like a more like I don't know. I don't want to say ladylike, but you know what I mean. It was no, like a little yeah. more like polite. Yeah. Like it was wrapped up different. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's good. Pretty. Yeah. yeah. That's good. The package came different. Yeah. Nowadays, the package is. <laughs> they don't messy. give a yeah, man. <laughs> it's a sexy red. It's all over the place. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Um, I really don't got much. I, I really don't have anything else to say, but I will tell you this. I'm going to put all of our links down at the bottom. So you, if you ha have questions, you want to even want to get on a podcast, man, just holler at us. We're not hard to find. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hard to find at all. Um, but I don't have anything else to say. I really don't. That I mean, I said what I need to say. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. We I, guess, I hope it gets better for the Wichita scene and Man. for hip hop as a whole. It That's will. I'm going to sure. keep, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to keep fighting for local artists. That is why I exist. I exist to give local artists the opportunity. Yeah. That's it. That's it, man. I had some people ask me the other day. They was like, bro, why don't you go like mainstream? Bro, I've had a taste of the mainstream, bro. I know how it is. Because you some fire ass songs. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> you do. I appreciate it. Um, mainstream is... It's a whole different beast. Yeah. Right? It's like it's like reading paperwork. Let me let me say let me let me create a scenario. If you and I wanted to do business together, mm -hmm. I'm just like, yo, shake my hand, right? Yes, sir. And we're gonna do business. Yeah. I look you in the face. This is what I'm gonna do, this is what you're gonna do. All right, let's mm -hmm. do it. It ain't like that. <laughs> Put in a major label, it's like, all right, man, let's get this lawyer jargon involved. Yes, and it's just like, I don't yeah. even know what half of this means. You know what I'm saying? And then even even if I hire somebody to read it to me, I'm paying you a stupid amount of money to read me something. Yeah. And every time I've been in that instance, the person reading it's like, well, I mean, this could go two ways. Wait a minute, bro, I'm paying you all this money. What do you mean it could go two? I need, I need you to know what this means, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So there's so many, you know, loopholes. And, and now, you know, there's stuff on Instagram. I sent you that video. I don't know if you watched it yet, but talking yeah. about how... The artist was like, yeah, the label owes me, like, my record went, like, my record sold, like, 2 million copies, so 15 times 2 million, I didn't see any money from that, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> They got what? another business. Yo, what? Like, yeah, it's a yeah, business. That's so. what, yeah. I think that, you know. Entertainment business is, is And that's just like any space. job. Would you go to, like, if you worked at, let's say, a warehouse or some shit, and you get your paycheck. You're gonna make sure that your paycheck, right? You put in the hours. Always. Like, and that's how that's how it should be, you know. It's Contracts, wild. labels, like yeah. It's wild. I love hip hop. I love Wichita. I love. <laughs> hip -hop, I really do. All right, man. Hey, that's another episode of Humble Talks. I'm gonna have our links down below, man. If you have any questions, you want to hop on here. We want to talk. Let's do it. We good. Y'all take care. We out of here. Much love.